Yo, what up, what up? Hey, y'all, I want to talk about Jay Prince and Cameron and Mace. Now, y'all know last week, Cam and Mace got into it with Shakur Stevenson about his fight. Shakur didn't look that good. You know, he got the victory. As, as usual, terrific defense, but his offense is always kind of lacking. And Cam and Mace on their show, they spoke about it. You know, they were critical of him. They said he don't let, let his hands go. Well, Shakur, sometimes he can be a little over-emotional. He got on Twitter, and he went to disrespecting Cam and Mace. He told them get the strap. He told them to get in the ring. He called them BANs. You know, he, he was disrespectful toward them. Cam responded, told him he slapped slap the shit out of him. You know, they, they kept it going for a couple of nights. Well, come yesterday, Shakur Stevenson manager, Jay Prince, he he called Cam and Mace out. He added them. He said he the manager for Shakur. He taking all his bets and he fading all his shots. Now, Jay Prince, he always got something to say when it comes to sticking up for people he make money with. And by, by him going at Cameron and Mace, you can expect them guys to respond. Well, this morning, Cam and Mace responded. Now, whoever handled their page responded yesterday. But Mace and Cam responded directly this morning, especially Mace. Mace say he don't respect big homies. And that's what he looking at Jay Prince says. He said, Jay Prince is 60 years old. You try to send young dudes out to do your dirty work just because you got money. money. You know, this a... You know, stuff like this shouldn't happen, man. It should be a little more respect in the black community. Shakur shouldn't be so mad about Cam and Mace coming in on his fight. He didn't look the best. Now, like I said, his de defense is exceptional. Before his offense, it wasn't there. He said he was going to knock his opponent out. He didn't knock him out. Now, this situation with Cam and Mace and Jay Prince, it can get ugly, but I would hope it wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Because Jay Prince... He got them little goons. He got them little henchmen. I'm not doubting that Cam and Mason got some people that'll stick up for him. But, you know, a person like Jay Prince, his reputation is, you know, allegedly, he would, he would send people at you to do his dirty work. And I hope this is not the case. Like I said, I know Cam and Mason, they not scared of Jay Prince. I'm going to get them guys they credit. They from Harlem. You know, they going to speak their mind. But Shakur, he got to stop, stop letting people get to him. When he get in the ring... Do what you said. You said you're going to knock somebody out? Knock them out. Put on a show for your fans. You know, they come to see you. You, you let your hands go. Your defense is there. Up your game on your offense, man. And you'll be able to quiet a lot of doubters. If he keep the same fighting style, you know, he's always going to have doubters. Jay Prince pointed out to ESPN that, that uh, Shakur fight was one of the highest uh, watch fights on ESPN. But people want to see him on pay-per-view. Get the pay-per-view. Then get buyers. Do like Tank doing. Get a certain number of buyers. Get three, four hundred, five hundred thousand people order your fight. Then you're doing something. Because right now you're fighting for free on ESPN. And Cam and Mace, they spoke on all that, man. I can't wait to see what Jay Prince got to say today. But I want to hear what you guys think about this.